Welcome back to another edition of the Air Gun Advisor. And if you've been looking for a extraordinarily classic looking air gun that is going to be accurate out of the box, doesn't require you to fiddle with hammer springs or regulators, well, you know what? I think I may have found it. And that's right here with the Day State Huntsman Revere. And this man is to check all of those boxes. Talk about how this new Day State Huntsman Revere uh, looks, acts, and really just kind of the aesthetic appeal of this. So as you know, the Day State Huntsman Revere follows a long pedigree of the Huntsman rifles that date back to the very first one called the Huntsman MK1. That was manufactured from 1988 to 1995. Today's model, known as the Huntsman Revere, comes with a ton of upgrades since that original form, including a match grade barrel, setback, two-stage trigger that breaks like glass, Huma regulator, true left-handed and right-handed configurations, side cocking lever that we have all been asking for, as well as an easy load, high capacity magazine, single shot tray, and a very, very efficient Harper slingshot valve that we have known about for years. So in comparison to its predecessor, the one before this, the Huntsman Regal, you'll notice that the air cylinder up here is no longer blued. Rather, it has a hard black finish on it that's going to really protect the metal, especially if you're one of those people that are gonna take your air gun into the field, as well as to help reduce the need for cleaning of pesky fingerprints or dirt and grime of that rifle and really reduce the amount of maintenance that you're going to need to do. It does have a new breech to house the new tweaked uh, side lever system that we've all been asking for. And as one final option, you can always add a moderator to this as they've added one half by 20 threads, like many of the air gun rifles we see today. Of course, after trying a variety of moderators to see what might provide the best accuracy, I was pleasantly surprised to find that the option of the zero dB moderator that they include on the websites was the best moderator of the variety that I got to choose from. So let's take a quick look at the magazine. The magazine debuted in January of 2020 and includes a flip out face that allows for loading and easy loading as well as speed loading of the magazine for competitions. In 177, you can load 13 shots. In 22 caliber, you can have 11 shots and 25 caliber holds 10 shots. The magazine is also adjustable and can be modified for both left hand and right hand breech loading. And that can be done by the user. If you happen to be a shooter that prefers a single shot tray, well, one is provided and is held in place with some really strong rare earth magnets. The one confusion point is the arrow you will want, at least for this initial run, the arrow should point backwards towards the rear of the air gun when installing it. Accuracy. Well, after thoroughly cleaning the barrel, I took the rifle to the range to see what it was able to do at 50 yards. My first target was to get myself oriented and to make sure the scope was dialed in. Then on my second target, I shot, I couldn't believe this, right out of the box, an easy five shot group at 0.478 inches center to center. And since I was feeling good about what just happened, I went ahead and took it out and did some 10 shot groups at 50 yards and I did four of them just to look at the consistency. And the Dagon thing still performed, giving me three 10 shot groups at 50 yards at 0.778 center to center or better. And that is just to give you a comparison, 10 shots under one of the MOA coins that AOA sends out. And if this rifle was put in a more capable shooter's hands, I guarantee that those group sizes would decrease. So as I was still feeling confident, I went ahead and tried a KYL or Know Your Limits target at 50 yards. And after just a few tries, I was able to clear the entire thing. And keep in mind, the smallest target on that is a quarter inch. And that is a small target at 50 yards, guys, let me tell you. So let's take a look at the regulator. Of course, we know that Huma and Daystate have partnered together to add Huma regulators to most of their air guns. And this is combined with the already super efficient Harper slingshot valve 
that Day State developed years ago. Now here you have a 32 shot string, extremely consistent straight out of the box. And the, re the results show an average velocity of 895 feet per second with a standard deviation of only 7.9 feet per second using the JSB 15.89 grain pellets. Now keep in mind that is straight out of the box. This regulator has not even been broken in. Now onto my favorite feature of this air gun and that is the trigger system. This is a true two-stage trigger and it is definitely my favorite part of the Huntsman Revere. Set up properly, you're gonna be able to achieve a very light pull. In this case, I was safely able to set up a pull of 6.5 ounces. And as you can see in the video, the trigger also can provide a very short length of pull for the first stage, a super crisp break for the second, and very little over travel, which is going to help you to shrink your groups down and control the rifle while you pull the trigger. The entire trigger setup is just one of those things that like you try it and it's like, wow, did that just happen? And then you have to try it again just to make sure. It's just that good guys if you get it set up properly. At this price point and with the long tradition of success that the Huntsman line has, the features that this rifle has, in my mind it really is a must have air gun on any true air gunners list. The only change that I would make is changing out the fill assembly. And that is getting rid of the fill adapter and move towards the more plug and play, male quick release fill port that we're seeing on a lot of other air guns. Otherwise, this air gun is pretty much dang on perfect for a hunter, a plinker, or even those of you who are target shooters. Guys, I hope that you appreciate this review. Please take a second if you do and give us a thumbs up. More importantly, hit that subscribe button so I can continue to provide you with these honest, high quality content. And as always, thanks for tuning in. And until next time, may your trigger pull stay smooth and your pelts fly straight. And we'll see you again here next time on the Airgun Advisor.